I just arrived and that was a fantastic race just to arrive and get up on the bike and see. I mean, oh, yeah. it, it must have felt wonderful in the boat. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's a really good start we've had today. Um, I think, you know, we've, we've been going well in training. And I think we've taken a lot of confidence as well from what the other boats have been doing here as well today and yesterday. So I think, you know, we, we were ready for today. I think we wanted to go and execute our race plan and I thought we, we did that excellently. So. The front end looks so sensitive. I have to say, even from a distance, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's something that we've paid quite a lot of attention to since sort of like Lucerne. I think it was a post Lucerne, it was a good opportunity to go and reflect where we were what we were doing and then you know Sil Silverette is a great place to go on a training camp had a little bit of time to sort of like talk among ourselves identify things you know which worked and what didn't work look back over the season I think we also like talked about how clear and simple the pattern was in Sydney so we tried to sort of like go back to that again um, I think while we were out there Jürgen surprised us a little bit with the crew order putting um, Will in the stroke seat, but I think that's you know that's that's worked out really well. I think we've got the right personnel in the right seat. So, yeah, no, good start. Just talk us through what it felt in the race. You know the sensations. I mean, when did you know that it was clicking again, like it's been doing in training? Um, I think I think you know you've, we felt that in the first ten strokes. It was just really well gripped. It felt like really good traction on the boat, and you could just feel the boat moving every single stroke. Um, I had a quick look across at sort of like around 15 or so and saw that we were already a little bit up on the Americans and also the French on the other side so you know I, I felt quite comfortable there and then I thought what was really good was through the second 250 and the third 250 we kept on walking at that point so we knew then you know the rhythm was strong, the pattern was good and we just wanted to keep on moving in that rhythm. And I guess like with all, all Jürgen's crews at any championships or Olympics, there's always more to come. There has yeah. to be, doesn't there? Yeah, I, I mean, definitely. I, I think, you know, we're, we, we, we've done the first job, which is to get through to the final, but I think there's a long way to go yet. Uh, I don't think we've probably seen everything from the Americans. We know, obviously, the Germans. Germans look good. Crew. Uh, they've also, I see, they've had a little change around. They've moved Christoph back to the stroke seat. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be tough. Nothing's done yet. Uh, we've now got a. The, the good thing is we've got like a good time now where we can sort of like head down, keep on working hard, do some training, just work on aspects and everything, and just hone the skills a little bit further before next Sunday's final. Great to see you with a smile on your Indeed, face. Indeed, it's <laughs> great, great, great to be out front for a change. Really good.